Thank you very much for the invite from the SWFA and thank you again to, to uh, for inviting us along. Delighted to be here on behalf of PFA Scotland to support once again this, uh, this great event. Um, of course, it's a great night to celebrate the success of, of the winners, but also I think to I think reflect on the improvement every single year on the women's game. Um, the national team, Glasgow City, of course, does get the deserved accolades, but uh, I was at a recent SFA Council meeting where I caught the end of a, of a presentation which was terrific by Anna Seniel and uh, Sheila Begby and you know, I learned so much about uh, the improvement in the women's game, the national teams at lower levels, their qualification, their, their how well they're doing, their qualification groups and there's so many players now playing in different countries at a professional level and I think the challenge now is to get more publicity and more sponsorship into the women's game and hopefully events like this and hopefully the national team doing well in Glasgow City will, will actually add to that. So. We're delighted to be here, um, as I said, to support this event. Uh, but uh, the most important thing I'm here for is to um, announce who has won the PFA Scotland Second Division Player of the Year. And uh, her name is Natasha, Natasha Robbins. And she started her career at Spartans in 2011, a relative newcomer to the game. She moved on to Burnham Muir Thistle for a brief spell and then on to Second Division newcomers, Leith Athletic. A utility player. In her younger years, in a variety of positions, including standing goalkeeper, throughout the 2012 season, she's always shown a great potential as a goalkeeper. In 2013, a bit of gentle persuasion. I don't know. I haven't spoken to Natasha at the table. It take a lot to persuade Natasha to do anything. So she must have wanted to actually go in as first choice goalkeeper at Leith Athletic. She's worked hard to enhance all her skills as a goalkeeper and her technique. And I think as all the players at that kind of level, they work really hard, training twice a week alongside the coaches, but especially our goalkeeping coach, Graham McEwen, throughout the season. And you can see, I think this hard graft has worked off. She's delighted, I'm sure, and she'll tell you herself to, to uh, accept this award. And she's also has worked hard for providing with a platform. Many people have played for her. Natasha's always, uh, not, sorry, not always had it easy with regards to her personal life, and the first to admit that I think being given the opportunity to play football has helped her through an awful lot in her personal life. In her spare time, she enjoys socialising, I can tell that at the table, she's enjoying herself in great company, <laughs> with friends and keeping active, and goes to the gym and cycles regularly. And she's been terrific, she has been fantastic company tonight, and I think the fact that she's won this award means, means so much to us, to her, sorry. She's been involved with goalkeeping coaching as well, and football coaching, which at a young age is fantastic, with both Harps and Hibs Football Club in the past. It's helped to improve her knowledge of the game, of course, as all coaching does. She's now studying at Edinburgh College and hopes to pursue a career as a care worker outside of football. And I think one of the biggest things about nights like this is people like Natasha winning the Player of the Year. So, please put your hands together for the second division Player of the Year, Natasha Robin. I'm still shocked. Like, to be alongside people for the Premier Football Team in the first division, and in my background, I never thought I would get here, and it's... It's amazing, so thanks. I'm happy when I play football. I feel myself. Um, and the people that are in my team are incredible. They're supportive. My coach is amazing. Um, the sponsor, um, the halfway house are really good as well, so that's a good thing. But I have to say, friends in the football team are like family, so it's good to have them around. She's a wonderful winner, isn't she? Give her a round of applause again. Congratulations. Congratulations.